Alcohol and cannabis have two completely different effects on the brain. Cannabis actually stimulates your endocannabinoid system in the brain and in fact in your entire body. So there are certain receptors in your brain when they get stimulated in the cannabinoid system can act like receptors or essentially have the same effect as neurotransmitters that are used to suppress the pain signal and heighten or increase the uh, sort of the, the happiness response, if you will, in your limbic system. So this is what the cannabis effect on the brain is essentially, in a nutshell, if you will. I mean, it's much more complex than that, okay? Alcohol, on the other hand, is going to affect different parts of the brain, other parts of the brain. It's, it's really going to suppress certain parts of the brain. It's going to be sort of a, a depressant on the brain. So that's why when people have a couple of glasses of wine, they start getting drowsy or they get sleepy. And it affects more, you know, the, the base centers in the brain, like in the brain stem, where, you know, what, what keeps like your, your sleep-wake cycles and so forth, and your, um, um, if you will, the cycles that keep you alert are going to be depressed by the, the alcohol. Now, there's also an effect on you feeling a little bit better with alcohol because people tend to, they forget what their problems are when they drink, basically. And that acts on certain parts that help with the memory. And, and in fact, what we've noticed is in people who chronically drink alcohol, there's certain parts of the brain that are connected to the memory circuits that shrink. And in particular, there's something called the mammillary bodies. Because when you put them together, they, they look like mammillary glands, basically. And I will show you here where they are. So they're right here, right at the base. And I'm going to put the two middle parts together so you can see them clearly. Just taking this brain apart here. It's kind of fun, actually. That's what you do. That's what I do. So right here at the center, at the base of the brain, you see those two little blebs, those two little knobs yes. that look like quote unquote mammaries, if you will, or mammillaries. These are the mammillary bodies. So these structures actually are part of the whole circuitry of you know, memory and so forth, okay? And they shrink in people who chronically drink alcohol. So that's how people start forgetting. The other thing that is affected is certain circuits in the cerebellum, in the little brain that's in the back of your head. So this is the cerebellum here. And I'm just gonna put this back together to show you. Parts of the cerebellum also shrink. So what does the cerebellum do? It helps, one of its main function is it helps with your balance and your coordination. And that's why people who get drunk often start walking funny, they start wobbling. 